Welcome to our channel, where we explore the power of faith and the beauty of the Bible. If you find inspiration in today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Today, we will delve into two of the most powerful prayers in the Bible, prayers that have the potential to transform your life. These prayers are not just words, they are lifelines, connections to the divine that bring hope, strength, and change. Our first prayer comes from an often overlooked part of the Bible. 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. This is the prayer of Jabez. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me, and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain and God granted his request. Jabez's prayer is remarkable for its simplicity and profound faith. Let's break it down and understand why it holds such power. First, Jabez asks for God's blessing. He starts with a humble request for divine favor. This teaches us that it's okay to ask God for blessings in our lives. It's a recognition that all good things come from him. Oh, that you would bless me. Next, Jabba's prays for the enlargement of his territory. This isn't just about physical land. It symbolizes influence, opportunities, and responsibilities. Jabba's is asking for more ways to serve God and make an impact. Dot and enlarge my territory. Then, Jabba seeks God's presence and protection. He acknowledges his need for God's guidance and safeguarding from harm. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm. Finally, Jabez asks to be free from pain. This part of the prayer shows his desire for a life of peace and well-being, free from suffering and sorrow, so that I will be free from pain. God granted Jabez's request, showing us that heartfelt prayers, when aligned with God's will, can bring about real change. Let this prayer inspire you to seek God's blessings, guidance, and protection in your life. Our second prayer is one of the most well-known and recited prayers in the Christian faith, the Lord's Prayer, found in Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The Lord's Prayer is a perfect model for our prayers, covering all aspects of our relationship with God. Let's delve into its significance. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We begin by acknowledging God's holiness and our relationship with him. Calling God Father establishes intimacy, while hallowed be your name shows reverence. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here, we pray for God's kingdom to manifest and his will to be done. It's a call for alignment with divine purpose. Give us today our daily bread. We ask God to provide for our daily needs, trusting in his provision. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Seeking forgiveness is crucial. It reminds us of the need to forgive others as we seek God's mercy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We end by asking for guidance and protection from evil. This acknowledges our need for God's help in overcoming challenges and temptations. The Lord's Prayer encompasses praise, submission, provision, forgiveness, and protection. It's a holistic prayer that can guide us in our daily walk with God. These two prayers, the prayer of Jabba's and the Lord's Prayer, are powerful tools that can transform our lives. They teach us to seek God's blessings, expand our horizons, rely on His provision, and stay aligned with His will. As you incorporate these prayers into your daily life, watch how God moves in powerful ways. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video inspiring, Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share these prayers with someone who needs a touch of God's grace today. And remember, your prayers have power. Keep praying, keep believing, and see how God transforms your life. Stay blessed, and see you in the next video.